Hello everybody, my name's Jo Terry Marchant and I'm the Principal of Highlands College. It's really wonderful to be able to have this opportunity to speak to you. Unfortunately, um, we're unable to get together face to face. I really look forward to the prospective parents evening to meet some of our new parents of our sixth form students who will be joining us in September. However, due to restrictions, we've decided to put some of the key information online and then follow up with some conversations with you via telephone or Teams call after the online event. So, um, a warm welcome to Highlands College in the virtual world. I hope that you find the answers to most of the questions you might have from the presentations, but I do encourage you to ring the college, contact the tutors, don't think there's ever a question that um, is wrong to ask or difficult to ask. You will find the staff here very, very approachable. We are here to join together with you so that your son or daughter or they have an excellent experience at the college and working in partnership with parents is something that we lay a lot of store in and we value it very, very greatly. Okay, so what I thought I'd start with is the Highlands College values. Now, you'll see these val values all around the college um, when you get a chance to come on the site and come and see us in parents' e evenings during the next academic year. But what is more important is you will see these values demonstrated in the behaviours of our staff and students. So they're not just something we put into posters, but it's something that we live by. And if you believe that some of those values aren't being followed or aren't being emphasised enough, you need to tell us because we really value your feedback. So, OK, if we look at the core values, you'll notice they spell out the word pride, because if we demonstrate those values, we will be full of pride about the work that we do with your son and daughter and also your son or daughter or they will be very proud about the work that they do having demonstrated these values. So we believe in developing people's potential, harnessing it, making the most of it. That's for the staff and the students. A core and central to everything we do is about respect. So your son, daughter or they are coming into an adult learning environment. They've opted to continue their education with us, which is fantastic. We will give them adult responsibility. We will also give them adult rights. OK, so they will be expected to voice their opinions, to pass on feedback, to take on the responsibility of doing their very best in an adult learning environment. We're a very creative college. Imagination is central to everything that we do. So obviously you'll think of things like creative arts, where imagination is in every single session that they do. But we're also imaginative in the type of curriculum that we offer in the way that we develop our programmes and review them and we encourage students to use their imagination in the way that they make the best of their studies and also in the ways that they would tell us how we can keep improving, giving us ideas as tutors and lecturers. We are a very diverse community at Highlands and that's something that's very special and unique to us as a community college. So we're diverse in the range of qualifications and learning experiences that you can have from the age of 14 to post-retirement on adult and community education, from entry level qualifications to degree level qualifications. So there's all that diversity in curriculum, diversity in the people who study here, and it makes it a really interesting place to work and to learn. And what we do is we celebrate that diversity and we use it as a way to enhance the experience for students and staff. Finally, our last value but not last because it doesn't mean as much, but last in the pride 
acronym is excellence. So what does excellence mean to us? It's doing your very best. And there will be times when you're learning where there will be difficulties, there will be barriers. We've all certainly experienced that with COVID-19 over last year and this year. And the students and staff response to that challenge was outstanding. And achievement remains excellent at the college. And that's because people continued to do their very best, always trying to demonstrate excellent in, excellence in the way that they work and learn. There are many reasons why your son, daughter or they should come and study at Highlands College. Here I've picked out three reasons, three top reasons, which I think any parent or carer would be interested in. So currently the figure is 92% of our students progress to employment or further study on completing their course. So that's significant because it means not only do they get the qualification, but it's also meant that they're employable. They go on to good jobs and have rewarding careers. Now we know that not just because we survey the students, we take feedback from the 200 plus employers that we work with, but we also know it because six months later, we contact the individual students and take feedback from them about whether they're working or not, where they're working and how well prepared they were for going into employment. Further education colleges like Highlands College specialise in preparing for employment, whether that's employment after sixth form or whether that's employment when you leave our University College jersey. It's always important that people can have rewarding careers and be able to give back to their communities. The second um, data, piece of data that I've highlighted here for parents and carers, 96% of our full-time students get a pass or above. So that doesn't just mean they pass their course, but they get high grades. We're talking about merits and distinctions. We're talking about A stars to B grades. So not only do they pass, but they're passing at a higher level, which means that when they go on to further study or into employment, they're going to perform better and feel more comfortable and confident making that move. Finally, uh, the third fact is the majority of our students complete a work placement. Now those placements are integral to the course. The students love them. That's because they go out and have a practical experience. They learn theory and practical in the college, but by going on work placement, they get to apply that to real life situations in the real world. That develops their self-confidence so that when they do leave the college, they may return as an adult student later to do professional courses, but when they leave, say, at 18, they're prepared and confident about how to have a positive impact in the work placement. And employers like Highlands College students, they know that they're good at independent learning and they know that they're able to apply very early the skills that they've learnt at sixth form or on our university courses. So I hope that you will see Highlands College as a really good option for your son, daughter or they. It's a wonderful community, so diverse, four and a half thousand people enrol with us every year from the age of 14 to the age plus retirement. So we have something to offer for everybody. And what's really, really key that I need to remind everybody about is that Highlands takes the individual and says, what can we offer you that will help you progress so you're able to achieve your dreams and aspirations. So we take the individual, we tailor to their needs and we move them on to the next step in life. 
So I hope to see your son or daughter or they joining us in September. Please do get in contact with the staff. Any questions, any feedback is gratefully received and warmly welcomed. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Eileen Bue Kelly. I'm assistant principal here at Highlands College and I'd like to take a moment of your time to look at our sixth form curriculum and what we have to offer here at Highlands College. First and foremost, we have Pathways. This is a specialist course for those students who have yet to develop more skills and knowledge and to be able to work more independently. Students on this course will gain a qualification uh, in the core units, including English and Maths, and also be able to do optional units like culinary arts, IT, um, construction, so they can progress on to the next qualification. The next qualifications we have to offer is progression qualification. Uh, the grade profile for the progression qualification is a GCSE's grade C to E or below a four. These qualifications is the Jersey progression qualification, which has been developed in partnership with education and our awarding body NCFE. The Jersey progression qualification is intended to develop the transferable skills for students who can progress onto the advanced level. And again, we have this in lots of different areas of curriculum that you can choose from, um, from anything from animal management all the way to sport and uniform services. And finally, we have the advanced qualifications. The grade profile for the advanced qualifications is five GCSEs, including English or Maths, at a grade C, which is four or above. These qualifications are at level three, and they're equivalent to two or three A-levels, delivered over two years. These qualifications give a student the opportunity to move on to higher education or onto employability. Again, we have a range of areas that each student can actually um, go into, with from childcare to culinary arts to hospitality, and also onto IT, and many more. Every student at Highlands College have the opportunity to have a full rounded programme of study, which includes all of what we have here. We begin with the main study, the technical or general subject, which is the area that the student will first and foremost want to choose as their main subject. We incorporate the offer of English and Maths into our technical and general subjects. This is for every student that have yet to achieve a four or a grade C at GCSE level. We offer learning support to every student that is targeted to make sure that every student can reach their full potential here at Highlands College. All of the learning support is targeted and in the right time and the right place for the student. We recognise that being successful is not always just about being in the classroom and in the workshop and so therefore a successful student is always about the other attributes that they bring with them. So we have plenty of help with tutorial support for students, including PSHE. Wellbeing, safeguarding enrichment is the heart of everything that we do here at Highlands College. And in fact, every student has a voice and it's always heard. Students can take a more active role as a student rep or even a student ambassador to help shape and progress what we do here at Highlands College. And finally, we have a careers and advice department that are wholly committed to making sure that students have the best opportunities for the next steps. Our industry partners have nothing but good words to say about our students and we work long and hard to continue to develop our relationship with all industries to make sure the students get the best benefits. I'm Louise Jackson, the Welfare Officer for Students and the Deputy Safeguarding Lead here at Highlands. Um, I work as part of the Student Life Team. We are a fantastic team of um, support staff um, that will assist students that attend Highlands if need be. We understand that sometimes life can be quite difficult for our students uh, for many different reasons and sometimes these difficulties or concerns may cause barriers to their learning um, and then this is when the student life team can really support these students. 
we can offer all sorts of advice um, from um, advice around study support strategies for helping you learn better um, to support around anxiety, housing support, financial support um, and just general advice around your mental and physical and well-being whilst you're here at Highlands. We work very closely with outside agencies such as CAMS, the Youth Service, the Edge, the Yes Project, um, Jersey Mind, and we have built very good relationships with them. So we can make referrals or signpost students to these agencies for extra support should they need it. We work with uh, the ethos at Highlands that students are entering the adult world so therefore we really help them to start thinking about helping themselves and being responsible for their own physical and mental health um, which will set them up with some really good life skills to enter into the adult world. My specific role here is to support the Head of Student Life, Nicola Brown, uh, with any safeguarding concerns that arise. Um, I also attend child in need meetings, um, child protection meetings, um, I attend and lead uh, team around the child meetings for those students that are open to early help. Um, I also complete uh, education support plans which are plans jointly conducted by academic staff and the student support team um, to provide a holistic approach of support uh, for students um, whilst they're studying here. Student Life also helps run the Student Ambassador Programme and the Student Voice Programme. Uh, which is a great opportunity for students to um, represent Highlands in the wider community and it also gives students a voice and a say about the running of Highlands or what happens here to really promote a inclusive community at Highlands. We really want all students to enjoy their time here at Highlands um, and we are here to support them in any way we can um, and please get in touch with Student Life if you need to. Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Laguirre. I'm team leader in learning support. Our department works with learners identified with special educational needs studying on mainstream vocational areas. We work closely with schools and external agencies to secure information and provide a successful transition for all learners. Working together allows us to anticipate the support needs of applicants with SEND. The transition period will usually start in years 10 and 11 allowing us to put support in place throughout the entire transition period. Here at Highlands, we want to ensure that your child's first experience of college is the best possible one. We offer a bespoke service based on all learners' individual needs. Ultimately, our aim is to help all learners achieve their full potential on the course that they choose. We have a team of professional, well-qualified staff who have good knowledge, understanding and the skills to provide bespoke support for young people who have additional needs. We offer different models of support to enable students to develop their independent study skills which can include exam arrangements, in-class support, one-to-one, -one, small group and sessions outside of class. We have a dedicated base room for students with ASD, high anxiety, stress disorders or sometimes need to work in a desensitised environment. We also have rooms with Soundfield technology for the hearing impaired students and we also liaise with specialist teachers of the deaf and visual impairment in the States for the, to best support our students. Aspirations for our young people with SEND are high, with a joined up focus on life, outcomes and training and employment. That can involve multiple external agencies as well as Jersey Employment Trust. If you require any additional information or have any questions, please contact myself or Desiree Madeline, the Special Educational Needs Coordinator, so that as parents you can be clear about the learning support you can reasonably expect the college to provide. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mary Hubert and I am the Director for Careers and Employability. Within my team we cover a wide variety of aspects that all help the student with their development 
towards their end goal of going off to employment or going on to university. As you can see from the top bullet point, we give a lot of a, a careers advice, information and guidance on either further courses with us at Highlands College or courses that are going to take them off Ireland, maybe to Europe, maybe uh, as far away as Australia and New Zealand because they have the opportunity if they have completed a level three qualification to go to university anywhere in the world. But generally, we are there to give careers and information, advice and guidance, and it is impartial. So students can come and talk to us about anything that they are concerned about with regard to their future plans. Obviously, uh, the employment section of our um, department is, is very important because the wide variety of uh, students that we have in college will go on to work in local industry. So many of our courses will lead on to apprenticeships, um, they will lead on to <coughs> employment in maybe the healthcare service or um, hairdressing and beauty, a wide variety of employment industries. And we will help the students to develop those employability skills of preparing a CV, practicing their interview skills, making sure that they um, know what their strengths are when they're asked those sort of questions um, by an employer. So the work experience that we offer to students during their course is helping them to prepare for their um, employment long term. All students at Highlands College will be able to go out on work placement or work with clients or do projects that are going to be contributing towards their employ employment long term. So the work experience that we offer uh, will vary dependent on the course that the students are on. Uh, but we will try to make sure that all students are applying for that work experience placement as if they were applying for um, a real life job. So they'll need to research the companies that they are uh, looking to go to work experience on. Um, they will have to prepare their CV, they'll have to go for an interview, they'll have to make a phone call to the employer, they'll need to write a professional email. All of those things that are so important for young people to practice so that they are ready when we ask them to go out into the world of work. So those employability skills of confidence, communication, customer service, being independent, being organised, all of those employability skills we are trying to develop uh, along the way through their student journey. The last point on this slide is about the DBS check or the police check that is required for the four courses that I have on the slide. So if your son or daughter has applied for and is going to take on board um, a childcare, a health and social care course, a sports course or uh, a uniform services course, they will need to complete their um, DBS or their police check. Now, within their offer letter, they will have received uh, information about what they need to do to be able to register with an online provider for the, the DBS check. I would be very grateful if you could check with your son or daughter um, that they have looked at this letter um, and they are doing something about registering for their online DBS um, check because in September when we start on those courses we will be coming in to all areas um, if they are on those courses to complete their DBS check. There is documentation that is required by every student and it would be worth checking with your son or daughter to make sure that they have um, looked at uh, to getting that documentation together and there will be a payment of £45 that will need to be um, available. So it's only for those four courses, childcare, health and social care, sport and uniform services, but uh, we would appreciate your assistance as parents and guardians uh, in this matter. Uh, I'd just like to finally close with saying that if you would like any further information on any of the areas I've spoken about, please do not hesitate to get in touch with the college and speak to myself or any member of my team. Um, thank you very much. Welcome to this short video for parents and carers in which we'll give you some tips on how to support students as they work to improve their maths and English skills at Highlands College. We'll also suggest some ways in which you too can give your own maths and English a boost. First off, let's show you how students access the college portal. This can be done from anywhere with an internet connection. Just search for Highlands College Jersey and follow the link to the student portal. 
This is the online welcome area for students and is the place where you can access the latest college news as well as all sorts of other useful information. Once they're logged in, students can access their personal college email via Outlook, their various class message boards, channels and workspaces via Microsoft Teams or OneNote, and their saved documents and work over at OneDrive. They can also access Century Tech. Century Tech is an AI software app that moulds itself around students' individual learning needs and is a great way for them to spend time on individual English or maths work, progressing through the various units or nuggets that Century presents. There are many other online resources that are used at Highlands, including MyMaths, again, which students can access and work on at any time, as well as free sites like BBC Skillswise and eSolCourses.com, which may be of use to students for whom English is a second language. Most of these sites are free to use, and we would encourage any parents or guardians looking to boost their own English or math skills, or simply looking for ways to help with students' learning, to explore some of these themselves. Here are some useful websites that you might wish to explore. You can find links to all these in the description box of this video. IGCSE English is assessed via two exams, both two hours long, which students sit in May. While both exams will assess students' general abilities, including punctuation and grammar, the reading paper requires them to be able to demonstrate other skills, such as summary writing or an awareness of how writers use language to create effects. For the writing paper, they must show that they can evaluate ideas in any given text and will also be asked to choose between writing a descriptive or a narrative piece on a given subject or theme. Of course, one of the best things you could do to help students' development is to encourage them to read. Novels or non-fiction, comics or magazines, it doesn't matter. So long as they're reading something, it will all help to improve their English skills. Another thing you can do to help is simply to talk to them about their studies. Ask them what they've been learning that day. Ask them how they feel they're doing in their English and Maths lessons. And of course, don't hesitate to get in touch with any of our English and Maths tutors if you require some advice or assistance with any of the above, including accessing websites. They're there to help and we'll be delighted to hear from them.